do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends so since in the last lecture we have studied that the molar conductivity of a strong electrolyte can give us a value of a maximum limiting value which is known as lambda naught so let us see about a more about the uh, strong electrolyte that how it would be very much helpful to determining the maximum limiting value so before going that we should know that the molar conductivity will increase if there is decrease in the concentration or when there is a increase in the dilution so but for a strong electrolyte it is very much effective if the strong electrolyte is being used or we have to determine the molar conductivity of a strong electrolyte then the value of the molar conductivity will get more or we will get to see the there is increase in the molar conductivity of a strong electrolyte but when it comes to weak electrolyte it is also increased but we cannot determine that by graphical method so when we are talking about a graphical method so let us see few terms which are involved to determine that how we could estimate the maximum limiting value for a strong electrolyte so since we know that the expression for the variation of the molar conductivity for a strong electrolyte can be given as lambda is equals to lambda not minus a into root of c this a is nothing but a constant while root of c is the root of the concentration of the solution or the concentration of the uh, strong electrolyte uh, solution which is to be measured so by applying this formula we have estimated or we have derived a graph which shows the relation between or the variation between the molar uh, conductivity and the concentration of the strong electrolyte as well as for the weak electrolyte as we can observe that for a strong electrolyte as the concentration will go on decreasing then the value of that is molar uh, conductivity will go on increasing and to estimate that what would be the uh, maximum uh, molar conductivity value then it should be know that that the concentration should have to come to zero and when concentration is at zero which means we are making it at infinite dilution so by graphing a plot or by extrapolating plotting we could get the value of lambda naught but it is only observable in a strong electrolyte but for weak electrolyte we could get this kind of graph or this kind of curve as we can see in the above graph so for a weak electrolyte we can observe that the molar conductivity increases when there is decrease in the concentration or when there is an increase in the dilution it increases that is true but the graph that is obtained to us for a weak electrolyte is not like that of the strong electrolyte and in this case we are not able to measure the lambda naught or the maximum limiting uh, molar conductivity value so this maximum limiting uh, value for the molar conductivity gives an idea that at what level the concentration uh, should be there or at the concentration should be diluted so as we could get the maximum molar conductivity value but in this case of weak electrolyte we cannot observe this thing and hence the graphical method is only validated up till the strong electrolytes but not for the weak electrolytes but for strong electrolytes yes we could measure the conductivity the molar conductivity at any uh, point of this uh, graph so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know the idea how can we determine the molar conductivity of a strong electrolyte graphically so share this video with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe ekeda channel thank you so much